Hello, kindergartners. We are going to be reading some new stories today, and they're all about the three little pigs. Have you ever heard of this story before? The three little pigs? It's one of my favorites, and it's one of my favorites to read. And we're going to be looking at different kinds of stories that are like this. So this is the first three little pigs. You also are going to need this reading packet, and it has a little pig on it. And we're going to be using this first page here this one. All right, but let's read this story. This story is rewritten by Madge Toby and illustrated by Patrick Campbell. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mother in a wee little house, and it was crowded. One day, Mother Pig said to her three little pigs, it's time to go out into the world to seek your own fortunes and build homes of your own. As she waved goodbye, she said, remember, beware of the big bad wolf. Humming and singing, the three little pigs started off down the road. The big bad wolf watched from the top of the hill. He smiled and licked his chops. The three little pigs soon met a man with a load of straw. Good morning, sir, said the first little pig. May I have some straw to build me a house? Help yourself, little pig, said the man. I have enough to share. Now, a house made of straw is not very strong, and it doesn't take very long to build. But that was okay for the first, with the first little pig, because he would much rather sing and play than work hard all day. Humming and singing, the first little pig built himself a lovely little house of straw. The big bad wolf watched from the hill. He smiled and licked his chops. The second little pig met a man with a load of sticks. Good morning, sir, he said. May I have some sticks to build me a house? Help yourself, little pig, said the man. I have enough to share. Now, a house made of sticks is not very strong, and it doesn't take very long to build. But that was okay with the second little pig, because he would much rather sing and play than work hard all day. Humming and singing, the second little pig built himself a lovely little house of sticks. But the big bad wolf watched from the hill. He smiled and licked his chops. Now the third little pig met a man with a load of bricks. Good morning, sir. May I have some bricks to build me a house? Help yourself, little pig, said the man. I have enough to share. Now, building a strong house of bricks is a lot of hard work. And even though the third little pig liked to sing and play too, he was not afraid of a little hard work each day. So humming and singing, the third little pig built himself a stout and lovely little house of bricks. The big bad wolf watched from the hill. He smiled and licked his chop. One day, the big bad wolf was hungry. He knocked on the first little pig's door and said in his friendliest voice, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin will I let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. And the little pig ran with all his might to his brother's house of sticks. They slammed the door and locked it tight. The big bad wolf was very hungry. He knocked on the second little pig's door and said, Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin will I let you come in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed and he blew the house in. The little pigs ran with all their might to their brother's house of bricks. They slammed the door and locked it right tight. The big bad wolf was very, very hungry. So he knocked on the third little pig's door and said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin will I let you come in. 
Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. So he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, and he huffed, and he puffed, but he could not blow the brick house in. Now the big bad wolf was very, very, very hungry and angry too. I'll show you, he growled. I'll climb on your roof and slide down your chimney. But the smart little pig was ready for him. He had a big pot of water boiling on the fire. He took off the lid and the wolf fell in with a big splash. It stung his nose, it stung his toes, it stung his tail too. Ow! The wolf howled as he hopped out of the pot. Ow, ow, ow! He ran out the door and all the way to his house on the hill. And now the wolf is still hungry, but not so big and bad. And the three little pigs are still humming and happy. The end. All right, we are going to retell the story by using these little puppets. So go ahead and take this out of your packet. And I already colored mine, so go ahead and color it. You wanna pause the video, color the pictures, and then I'm gonna show you how to make these into puppets. So I'm gonna cut out this first little pig here. And we're gonna be making finger puppets, so they're gonna go on our finger. So I'm gonna cut this out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it on the side, on the back, and you're gonna put a little bit of glue just right here on the edge. That's all you need, just right there. Just a little bit of glue. And then spin it around. And then count to five. Pinch it down, one, two, three, four, five. And then look at that. And now it can go on your finger and you can do a little puppet shell. You can say, I'm the first little pig. I built my house out of straw. And then you can make the big bad wall. Let me cut them out real quick. And make him his finger puppet. And you can share, you can retell the story of what happened after the little pig built his house of straw. So just like this one, I'm gonna turn it over on the side, on the back, and I'm gonna put glue just right here at the very end. And then I'm gonna spin it around. Now this is a little bit tricky, so you might need some grown-ups help with this. There we go. And then I'm gonna hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. And now I have a big bed wolf puppet. So I can say, I'm the little pig and I built my house of straw. And I want, let me in, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. <sighs> and then he runs off doo -doo 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 -doo, to his brother's house. So once you have all your puppets made, I want you to take a video on Seesaw of you retelling the story. Use the puppets and retell the story about how first they made a house of straw, he blew the house in. Then they made a house of sticks and he blew the house in. And then he made a house of bricks and he wasn't able to blow the house in. I would love to see your retelling of your stories on Seesaw. So go ahead and make this and then retell it.